An influential coronavirus skeptic who spreads vaccine misinformation far and wide and pushes a conspiracy that the pandemic was a, quote, pretext to take down the U.S., is also a licensed medical doctor and indicted January 6th insurrectionist. Quite a resume. Santa's Nick Watt has more. She wears a white coat, but not a face mask, struts to a Ted Nugent tune in a promo video, tours the country making false claims about the coronavirus. Asymptomatic spread is not a thing. And about the vaccines. All the vaccine candidates have problems. They're all using the spike proteins, but the spike proteins themselves are what we doctors call pathogenic, meaning they're disease causing. That is not true, Dr. Paul Offit, member of the FDA Vaccine Advisory Committee, told CNN. But Dr. Simone Gold is a licensed emergency room physician, so people listen to her. There are two huge impacts when a doctor lies in the middle of a plague. One, other critics, doubters, quickly point out that they are doctors suggesting that their opinions are somehow mainstream or common. The other is that they have trust on the part of the public. And the CDC says the unvaccinated are 11 times more likely to be killed by COVID-19. But Dr. Gold claims she's saving lives, leading a civil rights crusade against vaccine mandates. With the tyranny of medical apartheid nipping at our heels, rise up, rise up, rise up. Yes. She actually likens herself to Susan B. Anthony and Rosa Parks. And just rolled up to a rally in San Francisco like a tardy rock star draped in the flag, claiming our leaders are the ones lying. The other one that really hurt our country was saying that masks work. Gold claims she's been cancelled by big and social media. We caught up with her at that rally in San Francisco this past weekend. Uh, Dr. Gold, Nick Watt with CNN. Can we speak to you for a couple of minutes? It was her speech flanked by associates on the steps of the Supreme Court that so catapulted gold so... to fame or infamy. We're here because we feel as though the American people have not heard from all the expertise that's out there. President Trump retweeted this video, which social media companies later took down, of them promoting unfounded cures like hydroxychloroquine. Through Gold's website, you can now connect to a third party that offers a $90 telemedicine consultation and those unfounded medicines for an additional price. Patients with symptoms will be prioritized. That's preying on people who are desperate, trying to sell them junk when they're in dire straits. Now, Gold has been arrested and indicted, but for this, filmed inside the Capitol during the January 6th insurrection. Now she pleaded not guilty to all five counts, including disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building. At the very least, it means the government can't be saying it's safe and effective. As of today, Gold is still a licensed doctor here in California. The state's medical board can't say if she's under investigation, citing confidentiality, but told us publicly spreading false COVID-19 information may be considered unprofessional conduct and could be grounds for disciplinary action. I think people who spread false information or undermine trust in vaccination at the present time are spreading misinformation that is uh, dangerous, that costs lives, and I think their licenses should be revoked. What an interesting look. And again, a reminder that there was an anti-vax rally, you know, just down the street from the insurrection rally on January 6th. That's right. Look, and she also, as I believe, I've seen a photo of her participating in that. So, I mean, there seems to be this small group of these doctors who are just saying wacky, crazy lies about coronavirus. And you just have to wonder, what are the ramifications of that? And, and is, is this board going to act in time to stop this? The ramifications are people are dying. That's right.